Points to lead with the storm causing extensive damage due to the power outages after the jump. Not bad, Jack. We'll make a newsman out of you yet. What if I don't want to be one? Nonsense. This is what we do. It's in your blood. Oh, get real. We both know why I'm here. You threatened me. You said if I didn't come here to work for you, you'd tell McBain I started that fire. I know that you'd rather be, well, just about anywhere but here, but I think it's great. You mean I can get to know one another a little bit? You're my son, you know? I'd like to have a relationship with you. That's what you call it? Because I call it blackmail. Tomato. Copy intern. It's cool. You get to learn my business from the ground up. It's not your business, okay? It's my dad's business. You've no right to be sitting at that desk after what you did to him. Well, I didn't do anything. Tomas Delgado killed Victor. I wasn't Everybody talking saying, about so that. I was talking about what you stole from him. Not only did you steal his business, you stole his house, his money, his yeah. family. Are you always this obnoxious? Hell yeah. Atta boy. Like father, like son. Sit down. You know, saying it doesn't mean it's true. What, the whole father and son thing? You are not my father. Victor was my father. No, but I'm the one protecting you now, right? I'm the one looking out for you. I'm the one keeping you out of jail. And you know why I'm doing that, Jack? No, I don't know. Because I care about you. I'd hate to see you, you know, throw your whole life away. And that's exactly what would happen if I came forward with what I know. And I'm not just talking about, you know, trying to burn this place down, but all that nonsense with Gigi Morales. Did you stop oh. throwing that in my face? What, do you think I don't feel bad enough already? Come in! Anila, hey, what are you doing here? I went by your house. Your mom said you were here working. With your dad? Hi, yeah. Um, you know, it's just... The old man showing him the ropes. You gonna introduce me? This is my friend from school, Neela Patel. Patel? Yes, my brother Vimal works with you. Oh, great. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I came by to ask if you wanted to have lunch. Well, first you're gonna have to ask Scrooge here. He's the one making me work the whole week before Christmas. Well, somebody's gotta pay for all those presents. Speaking of, maybe I should just go drop them off right now. You two, make yourself at home in my office. Me office, a Sue office. Here, look, some uh, menus. You know, you can uh, order whatever you want and uh, put it on my tab. It doesn't sound like screw. Yeah, whatever. Thanks. Don't ignore this, McBain. She is reaching out to you, whoa, all right? Oh, no. She's not. She's not reaching out to me. You know how I know this? Because when I reached out to her, she shot me down. Hey, hey, I like pain as much as the next guy, but I don't want that to happen again, okay? <laughs> Beyond all this, I'm on the clock. I have work to do. Yeah, fine. And right now, that job is to find your damn brother. Okay, detective. And when we do, we can finally put Todd behind bars for killing my husband. What are you doing here? I was dropping a Christmas present off with Danielle, and she said that you were here, that there were complications with the baby. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes. I'm fine. I've been cleared to leave very soon. I just have to wait for the papers. Okay. The baby's okay, too? Like, you give a damn about me or Victor's baby. Of course I do. What makes you think that I don't? Why would I think you don't care? Um... George, hey, hey, remember what the doctor said about stress? Not good for the baby. The doctor doesn't want to see her get upset. I understand. Is there anything I can do? Well, uh, my husband was murdered, and my brother's missing. Is there anything you can do about well, either of those this things? I know very difficult for you. I, I understand that it's, it's hard. Oh, you know how I feel? You, of all people, okay. know how I feel? Okay, Todd, why don't you back off? You're not helping. Her, she's the one who's being cranky. I understand. She's going through a lot right now. Okay, and, uh, you know, if she needs to, uh, she's to lash out a little bit, so be it, all right? Um, but, um, again, you need to calm down a bit, okay? Because, uh, we 
only here to do what's best for the little one, you understand? Yeah, McBain's right. I'm, uh, I'm grieving my husband, and I'm worried about my brother. I'm sorry I lashed out at you. There's no need to apologize. I'm just glad you're okay. I'm glad the baby's okay, too. Thank you. Believe it or not, I care about you both.